Happy Sunday, everyone. Nice to see you again. So let's read. This is another message for Collective. We're going to see what the energies are for the week to come. So today is Sunday, uh, October 1st. <laughs> I don't know. I almost said August. It's weird. No, we are October 1st. And I'm reading for the week of so what is um, the Moonology Oracle for this week you get two cards we're looking at prosperity lies ahead as well as look at the bigger picture so new moon in Taurus and full moon in Sag Sagittarius for those looking for a sign a zodiac sign we're going to pull another oracle i think that um, with these two first cards you need to be on the lookout uh, you need to sort of keep your eyes opened and Make sure you don't tunnel vision onto anything particular. Apologies for the neighbor's dogs. <laughs> I knew this would happen. The word care came up. Cancer as well is another sign that's proeminent for the week. So it could be that you simply have placements in Taurus, Sagittarius, or Cancer. You could have relatives, friends, and lovers of those signs. But there are two things that are popping out now. We're looking at prosperity, uh, but on a, I guess, larger scale, as well as a, on a longer timeline is... Uh, the energy surrounding look at the bigger picture so you need to take a step back when it comes to creating prosperity so it feels like it it's more of a long haul of a journey and it asks you to consider many more variables than um, not the other thing popping up is self-care or just taking care so maybe you want to take care of your prosperity of your responsibilities linked to prosperity maybe um, either care for details or paying more attention to details taking care of yourself your health mainly taking care of your loved ones as well the family is emphasized with the cancer with the sign of cancer. Either way, uh, it's another way of saying you need to be more attentive and maybe spend more time than usual on particular, um, I wanna say objectives linked to your prosperity. And again, linked to something that is either a midterm or longer term project or endeavor or situation, even relationship, if that's the case. I forgot I didn't want to necessarily pull. I just kept uh, shuffling and these two words came up. Balance, and we do have the sign of Libra. Strength came up as well. So it feels like one of your strong suits for the week is staying balanced namely by taking care of yourself of your well-being maybe keeping the peace as well with your family strength here could be resilience it could be your strength of character as well uh, being firm in your decision making Sticking to what you've uh, decided. 
especially if you're undertaking something that requires more time before seeing results you will need to stay strong we have the king of cups in the reverse the knight of swords the page of swords in the reverse and the hermit so first off you've got three court cards um They could be different people. They could be energies. One of them is surely you. So, I don't think that you're in a hurry for anything. So I don't sense this to be your endeavor or <laughs> your energy, I wanted to say. <laughs> That's interesting. Being in the pursuit of something But it does um, speak of wanting things to accelerate, making sure that uh, you're on top of things, never hesitating to take action, on the contrary, being extremely proactive here. But the King of Cups in the reverse here is, is really speaking to me of the balance that you need to strike when it comes to investing your energy versus um, maybe balancing out your emotions. So it's like saying the more you work hard, the more you're focused on what you need to do, the more you're in action, taking action, <laughs> pursuing uh, your goals it feels like you have a little bit less time to take care of your own self of your mainly your emotions and the guidance here is to focus on your balance emotional balance namely One way of doing this is by retreating at times, meditating, isolating yourself a little bit, sort of having me time, maybe sitting in silence, or at least with a good book, some very relaxing music. I haven't forgotten, we do have the Page of Swords here, attached to the Knight of Swords. So, this energy of being out and about, doing what you need to do, running your errands, um, trying to complete things in a very timely manner, pushing through on them, uh, comes from a, the fact that you took a lot of time prior to study what you had to do and in which order you were looking at the bigger picture you were thinking about what steps to take um, you could have been standoffish for like a while sort of on the sidelines of of whatever that endeavor is for you, sort of looking at it um, with a lot of detachment until you felt balanced, until you attained some form of balance, you were gathering your strength before tackling this, before jumping into it, before like moving forward swiftly. You did take a lot of time uh, either to get epiphanies here with the light bulbs. <laughs> you see you were studying, doing your homework around that. There are really like
I guess I feel two speeds here because we have a set of energies that are contemplative, um, turned inward, in search of answers and some form of introspection, of course, um, but very deep introspection. around particularly your emotions and how you feel in whichever situation not just this particular situation whatever that is for you that you're actually working on to attain more prosperity and the other speed is uh, once you put yourself in motion things pick up really really quickly because of your preparation because you are prepared, you were ready, you are ready. So I think that you're still um, striking a balance between the two. I think that there are moments where you'll be extremely busy. Um, maybe to the point of sometimes scattering yourself slightly, not much. And it won't be detrimental to you. It's simply there's so much to do. It might be a little bit overwhelming. And when it becomes overwhelming, this is when you need your me time to counterbalance the whole energy. Sort of. That's the moment where you fix it. <laughs> Meaning, um, you stop everything and you suddenly care for yourself by stopping yourself, slowing down at least, retreating even. The Four of Cups in the reverse. You know, um, part of the, I want to say the less pleasant emotions you might be going through are overcoming boredom, overcoming your own indifference sometimes towards X, Y, Z, whatever that is. I think you feel these uh, emotions when you're when you're actually cut off, when you cut yourself off, either f out of protection, or the opposites. Maybe when you're not busy, you might fall into an energy of indifference. So part of balancing yourself is fighting that, fighting that lethargy. Could be even physical, like you could become very lazy. It might be very difficult to pick yourself up and get moving. You might prefer to sit. And you might prefer To procrastinate I don't think you will sit in that energy very long I think it's something that you overcome because the card is in the reverse of course you're sort of battling that you're sort of working at um, not falling into that trap if you want. I think you're very conscious of that because of the hermit, for one. But I think you're conscious of that when you, especially when you take the time, right, to think about it and then you see the broader spectrum of the, the bigger sheen scheme. How do you say? 
um, in the grand scheme of things for yourself. <laughs> Which at, at this point, it's this is a weekly reading, so you could say you're looking at, you know, what you need to tackle this week, for instance. But I do believe that you have something else in the back of your mind that whatever you're doing this week serves a goal that you're actually that will take more time to actually manifest or yeah to, to make it real and it's all linked to prosperity I think that you're working for your own future <laughs> which is so obvious to say I mean we kind of all are but I think you're working very consciously towards it it's too bad the cards are in the reverse the ace of swords the nine of cups in the reverse and the knight of cups in the reverse So you're going to have moments of <laughs> for me the nine of cups here in the reverse is like you can't fall um, prey so to speak to you know choosing pleasure over what you need to do it's almost like <laughs> It almost screams like you're gonna need more discipline. You can't just have fun. <laughs> Life is not all pleasure sometimes. You're gonna have to put in some, some work. That's one energy I'm sensing. You're gonna stay silent a little bit. Uh, when it comes to speaking to someone that you care for, it could be a romantic interest with the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So it's like you're reserving yourself. Again, you're going to be a little bit more in hermit mode. You're going to choose to stay quiet with the Ace of Swords in the reverse. You're going to keep to yourself, especially emotionally and that's also very true because the king of cups is in the reverse. So it's almost like you're not ready to expose with the ace of swords in the reverse. You're not ready to expose your emotions. Not yet. It's not about that this week. This week is about running the errands, uh, getting stuff done that moves forward um, a particular project or whichever endeavor you have in mind. That again, I repeat myself, but so that it sticks with you, you're working towards something that is either midterm or long term for you you're looking at building something that will bring you prosperity you could say that you're focusing on your coins I guess you're focusing on your career or if it's a hobby that you wish to turn into something more I don't know a project uh, getting involved <clears throat> You might want to get involved with others. I, I say that only because of the Cancerian energy of family. So you might have the desire to do something more than just for yourself. You know, you're thinking at things um, Yes, that you care for and that 
are for you as well. But there is a selfless energy on this hermit card. There's a lot of... Yeah, being selfless. Doing something for the greater good. Maybe you think in... Maybe you think about prosperity in a much more broader sense. Maybe you wish to share abundance. Let's see what keywords pop up here for you. <laughs> I love it. You get opportunities and surprises. So as you move into action, as you get real busy here, you're generating surprises and a, more, mainly opportunities for yourself. You can read the subtext, I'm not going to read it, but it's for you to... You know, you might be preparing a surprise because you're the one staying hush hush you know you're the one that's staying very silent and quiet so you might be the one uh, planning here preparing something that might surprise someone else Or you can simply have opportunities pop up for you. I'm sure you'd love that. This energy welcomes surprises. This person is very happy dealing with surprises. They love the, the fact that it's sudden. They, they work very well under pressure as well. So it actually works, uh, it feels like it will work out really positively in that sense. Let me draw some angel numbers here. 1717. It reads, this number signifies luck is coming your way, both romantically and professionally. You are going to have a lot of original and creative ideas in the days to come. <laughs> I think that some of those ideas come up um, for you when you meditate, when you stop yourself and listen. Listen to your intuition, listen, listening to what comes up for you. The other thing is, I want to go back to how you balance yourself out. Remember to fight off, quote unquote, any feelings of lethargy. any feelings of being unmotivated make sure you stay to the grind don't fall um, prey quote unquote again to you know doing small things that are pleasurable in the moment but that don't really partake in helping you reach your goals because they are distractions And um, I don't know, I don't know if it's such a positive thing. I guess you have reasons to be quiet and silent and discreet about your motivations in love. 
I won't question that here. That's uh, I'm going to leave it open for you <laughs> in this reading. For you to either think about it or, you know, maybe see how it unfolds for you this week. Maybe you haven't realized that you were particularly secretive. Maybe even a little closed off. <laughs> But I think it's because you're still, um, or not still, I think that you're just doing the work um, of making sure you tackle all your, all your responsibilities and taking care of yourself. So maybe it's just not the right timing here for um, investing yourself when it comes to, let's say, a partnership at least directly speaking, you know, interacting directly with them, with the person on your mind, the person you frequent. Anyways, that's the message for this week. Hopefully something resonates. <laughs> you might not know now, you might only realize this in a week's time. Please comment below, let me know what you feel. Uh, like the video, I'd appreciate that. It's a one way of thanking me for my work uh, and showing me your appreciation. Please share, subscribe. I'll see you soon. Take care.